हेलो डी अव्यूअर्स वेलकम माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर मेश्राम का सुनेत्रा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश जे ए टी आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज फॉर वीमेन मालेगाव द टॉपिक ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज वेल नोन शॉर्ट स्टोरी रिटन बाय ओ हेनरी आफ्टर ट्वेंटी इयर्स फर्स्ट विल फोकस ऑन द राइटर द रियल नेम ऑफ ओ हेनरी वुड्स विलियम सिडनी पॉर्टर ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन अलेवेंथ सप्टेंबर एटीन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी टू एट ग्रीन्स बोरो नॉर्थ कैरोलिना ही डाइड ऑन फिफ्थ जून नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड टेन एट न्यूयॉर्क सिटी हिज डेड बॉडी इज बेरिड एट रिवर साइड सिमेट्री एशविल्स नॉर्थ कैरोलिना He wrote in English language. He wrote short stories as well as some poems. By birth, he was an American. He has written many short stories. The collection of his short stories are "Cabbages and Kings," "The Four Million," "The Trimmed Lamp." heart of the west the gentle grafter the voice of the city roads of destiny options the two women strictly business sixes and sevens rolling stones o henriana and postscripts the prominent short stories written by o henry are the gift of the magi the ransom of red chief the cop and the anthem a retrieved reformation the duplicity of hargreaves the cabellaros way and after 20 years after 20 years was published in 1906 william sydney porter means o henry as he wrote under the pen name o henry was born in north carolina in 1862 he started writing stories while he was in prison for embezzlement embezzlement means the crime of secretly taking money which belongs to an organization or business when o henry was arrested he was working in first national bank of austin o henry was convicted in 1898 it is uncertain whether he actually committed that crime or not his writing career was short it started late but o henry proved realistic and widely read short story writer in the 12 years he devoted himself to the craft of writing short stories and his name became famous in the field of english literature he got popularity as short story writer he became popular as american short story writer his years in texas inspired many western people but in new york city he galvanized his creative powers and got lot of fame after 20 years in this short story there are two 
main characters one is a policeman jimmy wells and the other is most wanted criminal silky bob at one time the two were as close as brothers however at the age of 18 bob left to pursue his fortune in the west at that time jimmy wells was 20 years old he joined police department eventually the two lost touch with each other but they had promised to meet each other after 20 years at the same place and they had decided to meet each other at same time they promised to meet each other at the same place where they had their last dinner together in new york city now we'll see the story in details one night a policeman on the beat finds a man standing at the door of closed shop he tells the cop means the policeman that he is waiting for his friend jimmy wells he further informs that he is waiting for jimmy wells to keep an appointment they had made 20 years ago the policeman then walks away and shortly after a tall man comes to fill the appointment however it turns out that the tall man is a cop who has been sent by the former policeman to arrest the man who was waiting for his friend and the former policeman is no other but jimmy wells who comes to meet his friend but when he finds that his friend is a wanted criminal for chicago police he sends police officer to arrest jimmy uh, silky bob the story begins with a patrolling man walking down a new york city street on a rainy windy night he is on his patrolling duty and performing his duty very seriously he is trying all the doors of the shops as he passes them to ensure that they are locked and secured when he finds a man standing near one of the clothes stores he approaches and the man begins to explain the reason for his presence the man tells him that he is waiting for an old friend 20 years before he and his friend made an agreement to meet at the same spot after 20 years it is a pretty odd place to meet but he explains that 20 years before it was a restaurant and owned by a man named joe brady the cop tells him that the restaurant closed down about 5 years before The waiting man is wearing a very large jewel as a tie pin. He goes on to tell the cop that 20 years ago he was with his friend Jimmy Wells at the same spot. They were best friends and grown up in New York City. They were grown up almost like brothers. the same day after the dinner the waiting man told his plan to begin a trip to west to see his fortune but jimmy wells decided 
to stay in New York City. He opted to stay behind in the same city. Before separating from each other, they made the agreement to meet at the same spot after 20 years because they were confident of having achieved a great things in their lives. The man tells the cop that he is waiting for his friend Jimmy Wells. He boasts that he has achieved a lot in his life. He is sure that his friend, if alive, will definitely meet him and keep the promise. The story seems interesting for the cop. He asks if they were in touch during the time of 20 years. The man admits that they wrote to each other for some years. But afterwards it stopped. They had no correspondence in last few years. Despite of this gap in their communication, the man is confident that Jimmy will meet him as he promised because Jimmy is the truest old chap in the world. The man tells the cop that he travelled a very long way to keep the promise. He looks for time in his expensive watch and notes that it is 3 minutes to 10. He tells the cop that the two friends said goodbye to each other at sharp 10 o'clock 20 years ago. The cop notices the diamond tie pin and expensive gold watch and suggests that the man is very successful in West. The man enthusiastically admits it. He expresses the hope that Jimmy has done just as well as himself. But further he tells that Jimmy was a slow mover. So he may have achieved at least half of what he has achieved. While talking to the cop, the man lights his cigar and in that brief illumination, the cop notices that the man has a pale scar near his right eyebrow. He notices that the man had sharp eyes, the diamond tie pin, the expensive watch, the expensive cigar tell a lot about his richness. He recognizes that he is the most wanted criminal for Chicago police. He recognizes him as Silky Bob. But without expressing anything about his criminal identity, the cop leaves the place. About 20 minutes later, another man appears. He calls to the waiting friend by his name, Bob. The two men greet each other heartily. So initially Bob thinks that he is Jimmy Wells. But very soon he begins to recognize some unfamiliar characteristic in his friend. He notices that Jimmy looks taller than he remembered him earlier. Furthermore, he notices that the man in front of him doesn't have the same nose as Jimmy. As they pass the street lights, the man looks at his face and finds that the man is not Jimmy Wells. Then, the man in civil dress reveals his identity 
as a policeman and arrests silky bob before taking him into the custody the arresting officer hands over a note to bob it is given from the patrolling man mr wells whom he met earlier in the note jimmy has admitted that he recognized bob's face from the bulletin of chicago police but he doesn't have courage to arrest his best friend therefore he sent another police officer jimmy also was there to keep the appointment with his best friend but when he finds that his best friend has become a notorious criminal he gives importance to his duty but not to friendship the story ends with twist o henry is known for his unexpected twist twist means surprise ending of a story after 20 years is one of the best examples of this literary technique the story revolves around the friendship of two childhood friends jimmy and bob the two friends were born in new york city and grew up as bosom buddies they parted their ways when they became young bob moved towards west in order to earn money whereas jimmy stayed in new york he became a policeman both friend had gone entirely to two different and opposite directions in their respective lives but they had promised to meet each other after 20 years at the same place at 10 o'clock at night as per the scheduled appointment both friends reached the place but when jimmy wells found that his friend has become a criminal as a true guardian of law he performed his duty perfectly he got his friend arrested by another police officer the story has theme of friendship loyalty and trust it is one of the best stories written by o henry thank you